So let's say that you have a laptop that you're looking to upgrade or you want to save some money and buy a laptop and then upgrade parts later. How easy is it to upgrade RAM and SSD and also how cost effective is it? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here and today we will be upgrading my Dell XPS 15 OLED. Now this laptop has an i7-13700H, an RTX 4060 laptop and this might come as a little bit of a surprise but only a 512 gigabyte ssd and 16 gigabytes of ddr5 at 4800 megahertz now there's a reason why i did this because i thought why not upgrade my ram myself i mean it's not too difficult i've taken apart stuff before and it's still covered by the warranty now before we go in there deeper check to see if this is covered by your warranty if anything happens, it isn't my fault. But before we get into actually upgrading it, let's see what the comparison is between price of these two components and the price of just buying a pre-configured machine with more with these parts. So let's actually compare how much money you are saving by actually buying your own products. So first of all, this is gonna be a little bit embarrassing, but Dell is actually running a sale now. And it's actually cheaper now. This is still more expensive than I purchased the laptop for, so let's just compare it to actual price. This is $2,800 with the 32 gigabytes of RAM and two terabyte SSD. So you are going to be saving about, you're gonna be saving $400 by getting the cheaper one. Now, how much money did I spend on new RAM and a new SSD? I spent $185. I bought 4,800 megahertz SODIMM RAM. Now, this is something that I'm going to point out. I did try and purchase 5200 megahertz RAM and put it in the laptop. Dell actually shut it out. So you have to use 4800 megahertz RAM. It sucks. The 13700H fully supports it. Dell does not. The P44 Pro, this is actually an Intel drive. Intel sold off their SSD division to SK Hynix. They bought it, made Solidime. This drive is one of the, if not the best drive that you can purchase in Gen 4. I know it says gaming on it, and typically that's kind of a meme. This is a very good drive. Now let's actually install it. I'm editing the video right now, but most important, I will link down below the product's affiliate link so they support the channel. Use those. The most important thing you want to do before you actually open it up is we just want to go and shut off the machine because we obviously don't want it coming on or anything, especially when it has no RAM or SSD. So let's wait for the laptop to fully shut off. Here it is. Now we can just turn it off or close the lid and we're just gonna now flip it over. Now what we wanna do is we wanna remove the eight screws around the perimeter of the laptop using a Torx T5. That is what I found. And just make sure that you actually do keep track of these screws. I'm gonna use this right here and just put all the screws in there. Here we have it. So the way that I got this back panel off was I started with one of these, just kind of went around then I'll see some of these guitar picks just kind of picked it out. But as you see here, the 512 SSD, there's another SSD slot. I think I'm just gonna replace the SSD. And then here is the RAM slots here. So like there's one and then there is two underneath the sticker. So let's unbox the SSD and the RAM and get it installed. So here is how you remove the RAM. So first of all, I already did this one. So I'm gonna show you with this one. So what you gotta do, so you just gotta remove the RAM using these two clips right here. This is gonna pop, this is like a little EMI shield. Definitely wanna use that. I'm gonna pop the RAM out. Then what you wanna do is put this RAM stick all the way in. This is very similar to like in Song and M.2. I bet that if you've done this before, you're probably like, oh, why is he explaining this? This is easy, but this is my first time. So now we've put the cover over. Now we just push it down. There we go. Now we have doubled our RAM. Very easy. Now onto the SSD. So all you gotta do is just make sure that you unscrew this little M.2 screw here. Just make sure you don't lose this screw. Very important. But then you're gonna slide the SSD out over this little shield here. You're just gonna kind of slide it out and then we're good. But now let's put in the P44. So here it is. And now we're just going to, yep, we gotta flip it over do this and now we've got to put this slide this over 
Yep, okay, so look, now it's slid over. Now all we gotta do is just screw it back in. And we then have two terabytes of storage. Boom, SSD is installed. This is even easier than I thought. I don't know why a lot of people don't just do this. Obviously, like if you don't wanna to touch your PC or open it, makes sense. But most people, if you know, just how to use a screwdriver and open something up, definitely do this. Let's close the laptop back up. So all we gotta do is we just have to put the back on the exact same way that we had it before. So just line it up and screw it back in. Put the lid on, just snapped it back in. Now we just have to screw it in, then we can turn it on. So as you can see, now we have 32 gigs installed and then we have these two sticks right here. So now we can actually test it and see how it performs. Let's go into Windows. I'm also gonna put the cover back on obviously. So now that we are in Windows here, I ran IMLC benchmark and look at the bandwidth and latency results with 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. Now 16 gigabytes runs in X8, this runs in X16. This is why you are seeing with the exact same frequency, 4800 CL40, like the slowest DDR5 you can purchase, I'm getting an extra 7.2% in bandwidth and 11.8% lower latency. This is honestly insane and something that you will notice in day-to-day -day tasks, such as opening more things, better gaming performance, and obviously it's just gonna feel a little bit snappier on the desktop, especially since you're not gonna have to hit the page file as much. And there we have it. That is how you very easily upgrade a laptop and save a significant amount of money. You also get a little bit more choice and especially the SSD that you get to pick. So instead of picking maybe a slower SSD, I was able to pick one of the best Gen 4 SSDs out on the market today, which is a very big deal for me. I want something that's trustworthy, long lasting, and very fast. The RAM, I had a little bit less selectivity about it. That was more of a Dell thing. I wish that I could have used my 5200 megahertz RAM. I returned it, got 4800 megahertz, works perfectly. CPU supported it, Dell did not sadly. But if you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button down below. If you also want to support the channel, hit the link down below to join my Discord and you can support me there. It's a lot, it helps me support the content. Tell me what kind of laptop you have and if you're thinking about upgrading it. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.